the verse 1.6 chapter 1 verse 6 is right and wrong pleasure and pain exist in the mind only they are not your concern you neither do nor enjoy you are free so he says right and wrong which is just the realm of interpretation judgment you see pleasure and pain you see? this might be a little different from the definitions we use in satsang i like to say that the mind is nothing but a bundle of thoughts and similar energies like imagination memory sometimes we say that let's include all the other perceived sensations like emotion pain let's also for a moment include that in the definition of the mind so the sage is using the broader definition so he's saying all of these thoughts all of these sensations all the pain all the uh, pleasure let's let's look at that as the mind the witness of the mind you are apart from this these do not touch you although they happen within you they only exist as we saw earlier in our play you see only that which we are aware of only that which has our attention only that which is perceived seems to exist in this realm of maya so the said says all of this interpretation and also the sensations either through our sense objects or seemingly felt internally let's see that that is not original to us it is in the realm of the mind they are not your concern okay. so let's look at this your now your concern is speaking to us directly as awareness itself this awareness is unconcerned often in satsang we use the term unconcerned so this awareness is unconcerned with this play of itself called consciousness then he says you neither do nor enjoy is it yeah so this is directly again pointing to what we speak in satsang which is tvam karta tvam bhogta you are the doer and you are the experiencer is it what is this this is a prayer to consciousness is it but usually the prayer is made from the perspective of a person that i am nothing o lord you are the doer and you are the experiencer you see so when he says enjoy here he is talking about experiencing you, you are you neither do nor enjoy you see but here he is not referring to the you as a person he is saying you are this awareness you see so an aspect of you which is consciousness is doing and it is enjoying you are unconscious of witness witnessing unconcerned with the movement of doing and experiencing you see so from the perspective of the person this is called surrender you o oh lord or consciousness are the doer and you are the experiencer you see and from the perspective of awareness also you are not the doer or the experiencer although consciousness is also your own aspect aspect of you you see so because you neither do you neither do nor enjoy the said says you are free so in the fallacy of doership and the fallacy that i am the experiencer of this life mostly i am the victim of this life also another very strong leg of the ego who oh, i am so to me look at what has happened to my life 
okay victimhood is very popular ego belief so when this fallacy of doership and being the experiencer of what is happening the sufferer would be a better term of this life and to see that i am the primal witnessing the primal witness of this entire play <clears throat> then even to say you are free is actually underselling it because you can never be bound okay and this this one which is formless invisible unattached is neither the doer nor the experiencer it is impossible to find any attributes of it to even bind you see how would it be bound and it is talking about you you are free <laughs> you are free Thank you.